Hey everybody, it's Richard, and what I'm deeming the San Diego Urban Permaculture Project. Um, anyway, I just wanted to uh, introduce myself and show you around the property a little bit, some of the ideas that I have. Um, we are, um, we, we just moved in this place uh, about a month ago, and um, we're still sort of unpacking and figuring things out, but um, we're going to, I'm going to attempt to do uh, a little gardening project and, and use permaculture uh, as much as I can wherever possible. Um, so we're going from not having much of any sort of tools or anything to work with uh, to uh, trying to create something. Um, the yard, as you'll see, is mostly like just dirt and grass at this point, but um, we've been given the okay to go ahead and play with it, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so anyway, this is, this is sort of it. Uh, we've got... Uh, the carport in the back. Um, there's our cars. Um, so this is my first little project. Um, you'll see here I have a seed tray going um, already just to get some stuff started and kind of test things out and just see how it works sitting out here uh, in nature, um, if you will, urban nature. Um, so anyway, so we've got uh, right here we've got peas and oats, which is just a, a ground cover, um, which will hopefully be you know, a nitrogen fixer and, and um, be good for the soil and, and to, to harvest for my compost and um, and mulch. Uh, red clover, got some, some different good properties. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So that's already sprouting pretty well and taking off okay. Then I've got some echinacea um, and some lavender. Um, some barrage, I believe it's called. It's a bee bread, they call it. The bees like it. Um, butterfly flower. Um, so these are all sort of like um, companion plants for trees, uh, or right now a tree that you'll see in a minute. Um, and so those are all kind of taken off and starting to, to germinate a little bit. Um, and then we've got some tomatoes. We've got a, a tomato early stupus, I believe it was called. Um, nothing from those yet. It's only been a few days. A tomatillo, a purple tomatillo. It's an heirloom tomatillo I found at the nursery. Mini bell mix, jalapenos. Those are starting to come up a little bit catnip and dill, basil, tobacco, um, it's the Shirazi, it's pretty standard tobacco um, that I can also use for a lot of different purposes um, besides just making homemade cigarettes or something, which I don't necessarily advocate. But um, anyway, we have uh, cilantro santo, um, just kind of run of the mill cilantro, parsley, um, tomatoes, this is a aroma tomato, cherry tomatoes, and then an heirloom oregano and regular oregano. Um, then I've got some stuff, some herbs that I've started to plant already here. Um, these are mostly just temporary plantings until I can get something down. Um, you'll see the biggest obstacle so far has been our, our dog. So um, right now this is sort of my staging area, my safe spot to keep everything uh, good for, and away from her. Um, so anyway, um, you see I have a bunch of stuff. Oh, oh, I forgot. This is a, actually a, a wild uh, strawberry that I found from someone on Etsy. It's like an American um, sort of old school natural strawberry variety. So you can see there's a couple little things popping up there now that I've planted it. So that should be good. Maybe that can make a good ground cover later um, around the, the tree um, for the guild. And then I've got a bunch of cardboard set up in case I need to, to use it for soil. This is leftover from our moving, so I'd like to reuse as much of that as possible. Um, skip over the trash cans. Got some extra supplies sitting around. So this is part of our landscaping efforts. Um, these are some stepping stones um, for our back entry. Um, this property is pretty unique in that you actually can't access the house without going through some sort of locked fence. Um, so you have to kind of walk through the backyard and right now it's sort of a it's a dog bathroom <laughs> and we need to get that cleaned up and and uh fixed up and ready to go um so stepping stones are just to kind of create a little space to walk through um hopefully eventually that'll grow over got a bunch of lumber yesterday gonna build a little fence to keep the dog out of the back part of the yard that i'd like to use for most of the uh most of the the true uh, permaculture project and garden piece of it. So anyway, we're going to move through. This is the little front yard, as I call it. It's really a side yard. Uh, a lot of this was here when we moved in. So there's an artichoke over here. 
Um, it's taken off pretty well. The dog has smashed it up a few times, but um, it's just the larger leaves and I pull them off and it seems to come back pretty good. Um, got some rosemary taken off there. I'm not sure what this thing is, some sort of succulent bush. Um, and then from the previous tenants, we have some gnomes and you can see down here actually we have some mint that's that's growing um just popping up so they were gardeners too um i think that's just a true mint and then there's some what i was told was blackberry fine growing up here so it's come back quite a bit um just since we've been here some of the new growth on here so hopefully that'll take off some sort of cactus here um it's kind of a pain. I've been poked by it a million times already. There's these little tiny fine hairs on it that make it very painful. Um, so anyway, uh, these are some some strawberry, uh, you know, plastic hanging deals. I bought them really cheap a while back and never got to try them out. It's not really ideal for me, but um, you know, it's it's easy. And um, that one on the left there is really taken off. Um, so it's looking nice and healthy. This one I think was another um, sort of California ever bloom variety that um, is sort of not looking nearly as good as this guy but um, still still hanging in there we'll see the dog actually got to this as well so learning all kinds of new techniques to keep the dog out of stuff because she's we just got her a couple months ago and she's a puppy and um, she likes to tear everything up so that's one of the obstacles we're dealing with um, anyway some other random stuff around the yard um, I've, I've thrown some seed down here. My first uh, attempt at the seed tray got knocked over, so I actually just swept it up and threw it in here to see if anything came out. It had pretty much the same thing as the other seed tray. There's some random uh, kale, I believe, growing out of the ground. Um, nice little weed to have. Um, this is the, the house here. Haven't done much with it yet. Um, here's the first little step. Um, so. This, oh, let me actually tell you, this is actually a garage that doesn't belong to us, but it's a little storage space, so no one lives there, which is kind of nice, adds to the privacy. But then uh, I bought this yesterday, sort of like a remesh uh, kind of wire. It's a lot thicker than a chicken wire. Um, but I'm going to make a fence and a gate to put over in this corner uh, off to the front there to keep the dog sectioned into this side of the yard. Um, and this can be her little play area. This can be where we can play games and have friends over and hang out and have a barbecue and all that. So, um, so that's that. The cats have been loving hanging out here underneath the, the house and finding spiders and I need to clear out some trash from under there that the previous people left, but it's all right. So there's the culprit. She's in the act of eating things she's not supposed to eat right now. And that's been the problem. Anyway, uh, moving along. This was a blueberry bush that the uh, the dog attacked on the porch before I got a chance to put it in the ground. So I threw it in here just to temporarily sort of to hopefully keep it alive and um, stop her from eating. Um, so then here we've got some, I believe, chard that's growing out. The previous tenant told us it was beets, but uh, I in fact think it's chard. Um, so this is actually where the previous tenant had a raised bed garden and uh, just basic veggie kind of stuff, but it, I saw it when it was in production, it looked really nice actually. The soil's a little dried right here, uh, so it gets full sand, or I'm sorry, full, full sun um, most of the year. Um, so I'll probably need to, to look into... Um, you know, the, helping the moisture content of that soil. There's actually some lettuce growing out there. Right there. I don't know what it is, some sort of leafy lettuce. There's a couple things here. And another little bit of uh, maybe chard over there. Um, there were these little deals. Let's see if I can find one. I was told it's it's edible. I think it's actually like a... I don't, I don't know what I want to say about this. I think it's this guy right here. You see them all over California, but apparently you can eat that. Um, these are these are pretty handy. I bought bought this recently to help uh, loosen up the soil in some places and and do some tilling. And so this is actually my compost for the time being. I don't think a Rubbermaid container or whatever it is um, is probably the best way to do it. But I've got some scraps in there going. 
so this is um, part of a neighbor's house, um, but we've got something going there. I forgot what those are called. Um, I'll have to look that up later. Maybe I've sort of uh, patched up the fence from the dog trying to pull the fence down, um, as she'll maybe demonstrate now. Um, but anyway, it's working. It's blocking her. Um, so there's our mandarin tree, just a little dwarf mandarin. Um, it was actually uh, in bloom a little bit last week, and I noticed like just yesterday there's a couple of the little, I guess it's a mandarin starting to grow out. It's cute. Um, that's the only one I see though. There are a lot of flowers and that's the only actual bud I see. So right now um, there's a lot of stuff going on around here. Um, you can see where they've cut maybe a sucker or two. Um, and they've got some sort of, looks like rubber mulch down. Um, that definitely isn't my ideal method of mulching. Um, so I may rip that up and, and use some something a little more natural. But there are, um, the soil is really healthy under there. Um, if you look, it's just teeming with ants right now. Looks like there's a bit of an infestation going on. I might have to look into that. I don't know if you can see that. There are just millions of ants. And I just really ticked them off. The sun's coming out a little bit. Anyway, so this is what I've got to work with. Um, this might be a little difficult because of the shading from the houses. Um, but I think it'll be good. Um, we've got a couple of different um, just natural spots, you know, uh, that seem to, I don't know, do better and worse. Some are more, uh, retain the moisture better than others. It's a little dried out over on this side. This side's a little swampy. Um, I'm actually gonna do an old-fashioned weed trim here in a bit and put down the stones, uh, just to create a, a path over to the uh, exit over there um, in the corner. Again, that's another neighbor's house, so we've got a decent amount of privacy. Um, but anyway, for now, let's see, the, the, uh, the fence is going to go here. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to put a post uh, right next to there, I believe. And then put another one right against the wall and create something. I also kind of want to block this off because I'd like to use this for a keyhole garden. Um, and have this sort of maybe be the entryway here and somehow be the gate. But um, I didn't really... I went and got my, my lumber and everything without doing precise measurements, so got a little bit of playing to do. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go cut some go cut some weeds, uh, and then lay down the stones, and then probably start working on the fence, and I'll keep it updated. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm back. Um, Alright, so I just finished um, mowing, or weed whacking in the back lawn. I think I got everything before it went to seed so I didn't spread these weeds everywhere hopefully. Uh, but anyway, that's this is what it looks like. Um, so pretty cool. It looks a little a little nicer. Um, the goal is again this is just a pathway but um, off to the right here. Um, I'll probably end up doing some sort of other tree, maybe citrus or avocado or something. Um, and then over here, of course, this side. So I'm just going to section it off almost to like a yin and yang. I've got some section over here to work with and then some section over there to work with. Um, and again, um, the, the fence I'm going to start working on in a little bit. Uh, it's going to go here and over here somehow. Um, and I'm just still trying to figure out a good way to, to do this. I think I've got a couple of little dilemmas. Uh, there's a sprinkler head right there, so there's also a sprinkler head over there. Um, they're spaced out. Actually, that's not a sprinkler head, that looks like a gas line. <laughs> Better be careful there. Um, anyway, so I need to stay away a few inches from the wall, but I also don't want there to be a gap where the dog can get through because this is going to be roped off, uh, so she can't get to it. Um, so it'll be a little bit of a challenge, but I think it'll be good. I'm also not doing the uh, the entire 
I'm not doing it as well as I should probably. I'm gonna try to cut some corners, um, which um, may or may not prove disastrous, but basically uh, I don't wanna do the concrete. I don't wanna put the concrete down and keep a fence um, like permanent. Um, we're just renting again, so it'll have to come out at some point. Um, so I'm trying to find a nice mix of um, easy and uh, again, um, not quite your standard just run of the mill lawn and dirt um, and hopefully a little bit more than just a veggie garden um, so anyway so this is this is it um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started all right hey it's Richard again um, so I'm making a little bit of progress um, I've been decided what I wanted to do as far as the fence goes it's a little um, it's not exactly what I planned wasn't ideal but um, after kind of drawing it up and, and trying to see what the best fit was it seemed like the easiest path was just straight fence um, straight through here um, because if I start you know making a Y shape or something I, I end up needing a lot more supports um, and I already spent a lot of money on lumber and materials so I, I, pref I, I would prefer to get this stuff second hand and um, reuse things but it just wasn't wasn't gonna happen anytime soon if I waited for something to come along. So, um, so anyway, this is what I got. Um, I started digging a hole, and I've got a post. And I believe the post was four feet, and the uh, the, the remesh is around three feet. So the plan was to go about a foot. I can't remember. I think I might have even had a foot and a half to to deal with here. Um, so I went down a few inches. And just to give you an idea, um, I, it's maybe like 10 inches or something. It's hard to tell. Uh, but anyway, so this is actually a sprinkler, not a gas line. Um, that's a sprinkler over there. And then you can see here I, I actually uh, came up against the sprinkler lines and some other maybe telephone line or something, um, like a soft wire. Um, so I used uh, just a, a hand tool and softly went down so I didn't bang anything up. Um, and I'm basically doing this by hand because I don't have a, a, a I forget what they're called a pole setter or something. Um, so I just have a, a hole right now. Um, anyway, that's what it looks like. We've got these posts. I think um, we got four of them for around thirty bucks um, at Home Depot. Uh, I believe the remesh was like thirty-five bucks. Uh, I think it'll make good for a, a, a fence. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep digging and see if we can't make this work. I'll give you an update in a little bit. 